Setting up and sterilization of operation theater. Learning objective. To organize operation theater in a systematic and planned way with all essential equipment and drugs in functional state. For ensuring sterility and keeping operation theater free of microorganisms and smooth functioning. The operation theater area can be divided into four well-defined zones. That is, protective, clean, sterile, and disposal area. In protective, waiting area for relatives, buffer zone, changing room, pre-anesthesia room, storeroom, autoclave room, trolley bay. Similarly for clean area, pre-operative area, recovery room, sister's or doctor's room, sterile, operation table, attached scrub and hand washing room or area, newborn care corner, Instrument sterilization and trolley area. Disposal area. Sluice room. Disposal corridor. And janitor's closet. Equipment in the major operation theater. Hydraulic operation table Functional shadowless lamp or operation theater light Boils apparatus Separate routine and emergency drug tray Anesthesia tray Drums containing sterile drapes Gauze, cotton, etc. General measures Unnecessary entry must be restricted. Proper occlusive clothing of operation theater personnel necessary. Instruments to be sterilized by autoclaving. Each case should have separate autoclaved instruments set. Patients brought from antenatal ward or labor room should not cross the transfer area. Changeover of trolleys should be carried out in the buffer zone. The doctors, nurses, technicians and class 4 staff should enter from a separate route and through a set of change rooms communicating only through the sterile corridor. Space for changing shoes and gowns should also be provided near the change room. The operation theater should be air-conditioned with all airtight or sealed doors and windows. Arrangements to be done for piped suction and medical gases, electric supply, heating, air conditioning and ventilation of the operation theater. Doors should be single panel, sliding or double acting, openable from both sides with a glass see-through panel. Only essential furniture and equipment to be used for surgeries should be allowed inside the operation theater. Fire protection measures should be in place at strategic points. The obstetric operation theater should have a separate tray of pre-autoclaved and wrapped instruments in sufficient numbers so that one set is available for each cesarean section. Maternity operation theatres should also have a newborn care corner with all accessories and equipments. Part 2 Sterilization of Operation Theatre 
learning objective. By the end of this video, the participants will be able to understand how to keep an operation theater clean and sterilized. Operation theater should be centrally air conditioned with air handling unit. Routine, systematic and daily cleaning at the beginning of the day after wearing protective attire and utility gloves is most important. Clean the floor and sinks with detergent or soap water and keep the floor dry. Clean tabletops and other surfaces like light shades, almirahs, lockers, trolley, etc. with low-level disinfectant phenol, that is, carbolic acid 2%. Clean monitor machines with 70% alcohol. In case of spillage of blood, body fluids on floor, Wet the area with chlorine solution for 10 minutes. Absorb with mop and decontaminate the mop in the chlorine solution. Mop the floor again. Discard the waste in proper bin. Decontaminate the gloves in chlorine solution. Do not throw them on the floor. Do not throw the soiled linen on the floor. Disinfect it with chlorine solution followed by washing and autoclaving. Mop the floor every three hours with disinfectant solution. General measures. Well illuminated with power backup. Windows should have frosted glasses with glare-free natural light. Access to the operation theater should be through a buffer zone. Unnecessary entries to the operation theater must be restricted. Proper occlusive clothing of the operation theater personnel necessary. The instruments should be kept properly in the drum and then sterilized by autoclaving. Each case should have separate instrument sets. Quality control. Microbiological samples should be taken randomly at one month interval by settle plate method. Random microbiological sampling to be done by settle plate or air sampling method. Following construction or renovation work or any infectious outbreak. Any colony of fungus or staph aureus needs to be reported. If found positive, servicing of air handling unit and or AC duct is recommended. There should be arrangements for disposal of biomedical and other wastes, which should be in accordance with the national and state regulations. Every operation theater should have sterilization services and needs autoclave autoclave drums and disinfectant solutions. Key points. Operation theater should have four well-defined zones that is protective, clean, sterile and disposal area. Unnecessary entries to the operation theater must be restricted. Operation theater personnel must have proper occlusive clothing. Instruments should be sterilized by autoclaving. Each case should have separate sterilized instrument sets.